How we doing? We're gonna do a little gig vlog today. Um, kind of a rant while I'm driving here. It's the best position I can do. So, um, headed to uh, to a gig. I have a three-piece group, a couple guitars and a percussionist, and the, the sits in between uh, us. That the two guitar players stand on either side. Um, and, uh, you know, that seems to save a lot of, a lot of space really. And most of the time we're in a kind of a really cramped situation. And, uh, you know, basically what it calls for is compact. Um, so everything's has that in mind from the speakers to uh, I don't wish I had one of those things in the cups from the speakers to um, to the lengths of cables to the um, size of the instruments the positioning of the guitar um, I mean the positioning of the instruments and the positioning of the speakers and the mixer and the layout uh, everything is done with, um, you know, it's hard to say precision, but uh, as uh, as time goes by, you just figure out what works for you, just like that. <laughs> Maybe a stand will work for me, huh? <laughs> All right, it's not, it's fighting me here, so we're just gonna go straight up, and uh, basically. I've come to a conclusion where you have to go with it. You have to roll with, uh, not roll, you have to flow, flow with the, with the stream. Can't be trying to take a twin amplifier because that's the way I like, I like the way it sounds. As a matter of fact, I got rid of my twin. It was loud. And it was great, but uh, one of the main factors, the reason I got rid of it, was because I hated. It wasn't a you know it wasn't a vintage. First of all, it was like a twin from the '80s, a Rivera twin, two hundred water, clean as a whistle, sounded incredible, had JBLs in it. You see, I'm I'm romancing about it right now. But the fact of the matter is, is that I, I know that I can get another one if I really wanted to, anywhere between six to eight hundred bucks, um, anytime I wanted to. But uh, I didn't want it sitting in there, and then uh, you know me desiring to take to bring it. I've uh, done many inversions of the same thing when it comes to my guitar gear um, and uh, my amplifiers and my speakers and you name it everything has been designed to be compact uh, you know gaff tape um, because I guess my point is we're rocking with no stage nine times out of ten we have no stage um, and and uh, sometimes when we have a stage, it feels too big, or it feels like you gotta like dance or something. But uh, you'll see the group. I have a this. I'm talking about my sombra quieta group, my Latin band. Um, but uh, we do put out a lot of uh, a lot of music and a lot of sound. A lot of music, a lot of sound does come out, you know, out of our speakers because we use JBLs um, and they have like good sub sub to them and, you know, good high end and very crisp and clear and, and so we sound a lot bigger than what we are without having to play loud um, we're using drum machines, we're using the Roland V drums um, my guitars uh, going through uh, a 
Sans amp. We have a piano, so there's really percussionists play some shakers, and that's the only acoustic thing on the stage, a pair of shakers. And honestly, I think there's rice in them, in the shakers. Uh, but the, you know, all the rolling drum pad stuff, that all sounds great. But the point of this uh, gig vlog and rant is that, uh, you know, you should prepare yourself after me doing this for, I mean, I've been playing music since I was a kid, but I've been doing this particular setup for about eight years, and I fought it for a long time. And some of it has been for the best. Um, and some of it has just been spinning my wheels. Um, you know, I can't, I have trouble hearing myself. Um, the volume, um, sometimes it's really low. I've tried inner ear monitors and, uh, you know, I need my own special mix because uh, the percussionist uses a mix that she likes. Um, so I've had to get creative. I've often thought about getting a, um, a uh, in-ear monitors for just my guitar. I guess that would make sense. Right? If all I want to hear is my guitar. Um, and not be too concerned with anything else. Figure it's going to be, you know, loud enough. Or so, you know, if I had to get creative, um, I've played with my own monitor. But sometimes uh, when when the when we turn the house down or the mains down, the mo the monitor guitar speaker is louder than everything else. So it's I mean, there's hundreds of stories like that that I've come across, you know, and that there's no good way. And I've done, you know, I've done, I've used switchers, but this isn't the video for that. What I'm saying is that uh, get in and get out. Get in, get paid, get out. It, it does, you know, if you're putting on a show, you know, if you're John, not, you don't have to be John Mayer, but if you're doing your own, if you're doing your thing, your own thing, then do whatever you want, do whatever you have to do. Um, but, you know, whatever the gig requires, if you're playing with, uh, with a loud group, then, you know, um, you know, you don't have to be live. I mean, nowadays everything's digital, you know, regarding the guitars. And so, you know, you don't have to be stay, you know, stage loud. You got to be pre prepared. I mean, most likely you're, they're not going to ask you to bring the Marshall half stack. And if they do, then you're going to have to put an attenuator on that bad boy. Um, so one way or the other... It all, it all, it's not like back in the day, you know, when the sound systems weren't as loud, so the gear needed to, you know. And if you're playing with a drummer, you know, it's got to be a good drummer. If you guys are young, you know, have at it, man. Do the garage thing. Play at house parties. Be loud as you want, man. But if you're going to do it for pay, then there's gonna there's a science to it there's a science to it and um, you don't want to be you know you don't want to be the bozo that has to hear himself you know that's why I don't I don't play with a whole lot of people um, mainly because and this is no offense to people because people have been during COVID people have been trapped up and maybe Maybe they've been jamming in the garage real loud or whatever, you know. 
but they're never, you know, a lot of people are never in front of people. A lot of people want to play real loud and they want to hear themselves. And, you know, this isn't, this video is not for those people, you know. Hey, if it's fun, you're doing it for fun and uh, something to release the, you know, pressure and stress and something to do on your downtime. And, you know, you buy a nice guitar and a nice amp and you turn up, man, I envy you. Hey, invite me over. I'll bring the beer. Um, and don't get me wrong, that happens every once in a while too. You know, great jam session, man. But if you do it all the time, you have to be aware of your sound levels. Um, but here's another thing too. What happens is you become real confident in your material. You become real confident in what you're playing that it's kind of second nature and you know what your gear sounds like you know you do a lot of sound checks and you know what your, your gear sounds like you know what your guitar sounds like and you know so even if the volume's down you know that you did your job and you got a good job going on you just can't hear yourself um you know but it's not about you so it's about doing the service and you know, every once in a while, hey, they want you to, they want you to turn up. They'll be like, hey, turn it up, man. And you know, all right, you got it. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Turn down for what? You know, you got it, man. Here we go. Um but uh I've I've found it um I found it time to time gratifying. Uh be able to buy something compact and it sounds great. Small bass amp, small subwoofer, um, bow like Bose kind of stuff, JBL. Um, so uh, wireless. I'm just getting into the wireless game. Wireless is um, come a long way. Where you know all you need are uh, two sticks, you know, one stick for the mic and another stick for the receiver, and there you got it. About 200 bucks, 180 bucks. Uh, you can stick it on any mic, anywhere, any place, within reason. Same thing with guitars; don't need any wires anymore. Um, so, and if you if you look at the Nam show. And if you look at uh, Sweetwater and these places, or not even these places, they just sell. But if you go to the NAM show, the industry is going, maybe not so much digital, but it's going stage volume. And it's going uh, compact, loud. Um, it's going very uh, you know worship music friendly very um, in here very studio quality um, you know everything from headphones guitars to acoustic sound systems you name it so I just encourage you to roll with it, buy yourself some good gear, use that stimulus, buy yourself a nice mixer that has reverb on it, buy yourself some new cables, and something compact that packs a punch, EVs, JBLs, um, you know, Mackie, they all make affordable. I mean, two ninety nine, three ninety nine, something like that. Um, so you got to roll with it, especially these restaurants, man. They get real loud because people are talking, and uh, you realize that uh, that they're louder than you, you know. 
kind of like playing at Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm or a cruise ship. You know, you, you, you're just part of the landscape. So be part of the landscape, get paid, and go home. Um, there'll be plenty of time, you know, make it a point on your downtime to record and see what you sound like. If you got a garage, even better. Um, headphones, of course. You know, headphones, you know, headphones are great. But uh, you want a consistent sound. You want to sound the same everywhere. You know, get something like an HX Stomp if you're a guitar player. If you're a singer, get a wireless mic. Um, get an iPad. You can't be showing up with no book anymore with the light. And a big old music stand from a high school that has uh, high school initials in the back. Um, you know, it's a lot to it. Ah, and, and you know, and it's got to fit in your car. You know, um, I got minimal trunk space. I have a hatchback here, so you know, it's like a station wagon hatchback. So it's able to, you can lay things down. You can lay it down, and uh, you know, if you if you have to, but. You know, the day, the days of, uh, you know, bringing in big old speakers and all that, that's, that's over. Uh, you see a lot of stuff is compact and, and, and lastly, I want to say that people's interpretation and the memory that they take from that, I mean, again, unless you're John Mayer or... And even then, they're not remembering his guitar solos from the Dumbo. You know, what I mean, yeah, it, it's as good as a sound engineer is mixing. Plus, they're singing along. You know, they're singing along to the songs, and you know, at the end of the night or the next day or the next year, people remember you. They remember uh, the gist of what you did. They remember you. Oh yeah, yeah. You guys, you guys were playing at so and so's party. Oh yeah, yeah. Everybody was dancing. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, you guys were good. Right. They don't remember your guitar solo or what it sounds like. They remember the overall. Um, not to say they don't know anything about music or anything because they hear a wrong note. Here, if you're singing off key. But, you know, you want them to remember you by not the guy whose mic was feedbacking. You know, they're barely going to remember you. So, what they're going to remember you by is just being there and producing great sound and a lot of rhythm. You know, they're not here, to, they're not there to hear jokes. Um, and uh, you know, if they ask for a car, you give it to them. But uh, that's it. Going to a gig right now. That's very limited in space. Uh, I don't want to say awkward. But we're actually playing in front of a bar. It's not. It's it's kind of like a second bar they have. We're actually playing right in front of it, and, and they have, there's another bar in use. Uh, this place has baseball, football, sporting games on the on the you know on the TV, and uh, you know it's kind of a you know it's a Latin place. It's a Wednesday, by the way, so there might be some people there that we know. I don't know how these gigs usually go. They're like kind of so-so. They come and they go. And, and so, uh, but uh, hey, post-COVID, everybody should be all in. All in, man. 
2021 summer into the holiday season through wedding season through Christmas through New Year's into January might slow down a little bit January, February but stay tuned March people got weddings they got house parties get ready we'll see you